This is George Klein, a Memphis radio and television host for many years, and a great friend of Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. My relationship with Elvis started in an eighth grade music class at Old Humes High School. We went all the way through high school together. And out of high school, I went into radio and television. Elvis got a contract with Sun Records, then signed with RCA Records. Many years ago, I decided to do all I could to prolong his legacy in the world of music. For the past 10 years, I've done a worldwide radio show on Sirius XM Satellite Radio on the Elvis Channel. I wrote a book very successful called Elvis, My Best Man. Bestseller went number one in America. Well, I got something fun for you. Let me hear you. All right, gonna get some balls, okay? It's all Memphis. So right here is Al Green's microphone. All every one of his hits was recorded on. Let's stay together, love and happiness, everything. We don't let anybody sing on it anymore unless they're real special, like Robert Plant, John Mayer. Prince Mongo is a guy that I've known for many, many years. The guy is very, very smart, very educated. He knows exactly what he's doing. I have now called the spirits, and now they are probably at the bar. Whole lot of shaking had to sell about 10 million, Jim. It sold that many, I, I would imagine, the first year it was out. Good afternoon, George Klein Productions. Behind every man or every successful organization, there's usually a lady. And we got one named Kim before it. Mr. Klein and Priscilla Presley would like to confirm for the charity event. She is dynamite. She's out of sight. And she don't look bad either. I keep him on time and on schedule. I don't think George even knows how popular he is. I'm still very close to Priscilla and the Elvis family. I've been all over the world seen the most beautiful sights at some of the most interesting people and I'm always amazed when I get back home at just how different Memphis really is and can't help but be proud of all she's accomplished over the years. I've interviewed the greats and soon to be greats but this time I thought it would be fresh if I visited them in their space, their zone, their sweet spot. I always envisioned being a comic book artist for DC Comics and, and doing that kind of stuff. Elvis wow. as Superman. Look at that, gosh. Credited as the birthplace of rock and roll, as well as the home of the blues, Memphis is all about the music and interesting people. Music is huge in Memphis and we'll hear plenty of it, but I'm going to share some things that have never been seen nor heard. For many years, I've had guests from all over the world on my radio and television shows. So look out, folks. We're going to enter some of the most interesting, fascinating homes and studios, juke joints, and 19th holes, jet planes and parties, just to get to know some of these great people and learn some things of which you've had no clue.